All too often, the classical era is seen as the end product of one big word, Haydn, Mozart, Beethoven. I get it. It's indeed a formidable word, and tends to crowd out lesser contributors to the scene, such as C.P.E. Bach, Gluck, Stamets, Clementi, and several others. However, though less crucial to history, they each played a role, and if you are willing to look carefully through their output, there are some true musical gems to be found. Luigi Boccherini is one of these minor, often forgotten, classical composers. In my opinion, this distinction is quite undeserved, so this video is my humble attempt to rectify that. Boccherini's music can best be described as post-baroque, with a distinctive Spanish flavor. I think it's the saffron, perhaps. As his name suggests, Boccherini was originally Italian. Coming from a musical family, he grew up to become a cellist, and a fine one at that. He was sent at a young age to study in Rome, but he left once he realized that, contrary to popular belief, the saying actually went, all roads lead to Vienna, at least for classical musicians. At 18, Boccherini left Vienna and traveled to Madrid, where he thrived under the patronage of the Infante Luis Antonio. There, he picked up his characteristic Spanish influence, probably accompanied by the Spanish influenza, Everything was going smoothly until King Louis took exception to a passage in the composer's latest trio. Instead of removing it, Boccherini doubled it and was fired on the spot. He then retired to a little Spanish town where he composed, first himself, then more music, for the rest of his days. Boccherini primarily wrote for string quartet, string quartet plus cello, and string quartet plus guitar. In this respect, Boccherini built on the model created by Haydn though he is thanked by many for upping the role and difficulty of the cello part. He set new standards for cello virtuosity in his twelve cello concerti, no doubt stemming from his own remarkable command of the instrument. While touring, he was often called upon to substitute for a poor, ailing violinist, playing the violin part at pitch, somewhere up in the cello stratosphere. One of my favorite descriptions of the refined, courtly side of Boccherini's music comes from a YouTube comment on his famous minuet. <clears throat> the piece can be played in such a way as to sparkle with the most wonderfully heady verve, bringing one to the edge of a delirium so delightful. And to think that as few as four talented string musicians are able to bring all this on. Here we have a subtler version, granted. Who could not but adore Boccherini, especially the enchanting slice of life he so graciously provides us in his famous minuet? I just love it. No matter how you put it, it could just as easily be the description of a fine wine. Still, I couldn't have put it better myself. <laughs>